Hello. So um, today we do a Warp Frost by uh, Sonic Youth. It's um, one of my favorite uh, Sonic Youth uh, song in uh, a Fasten of Leaves album. Um, maybe first, as uh, everybody asks, uh, what I use. Here I use uh, some, only some pedals, no amps. Um, I use my memory toy uh, delay and then I plug into uh, my uh, Digitech Screaming Blues. But the pedal is off, but I use the, um, it's called uh, the mixer um, output. It's a kind of uh, amp simulation, so it's very nice uh, simulation. It's clean, it seems a uh, clean amp. Love it. And then I'm plug into my uh, Digiverb digital uh, reverb. And then in my looper, I use um, a T-Rex looper. It's very handy because it has uh, two switches, uh, one for stop and, and play. So uh, uh, it's easier in the song to just push one button to to stop it and or play again than, than before I had the Dito looper and you need to double click to stop the pedal. So when you still playing, double click is it's not very uh, natural. Um, so now the first I will um, explain you uh, the things because um, why I did uh, Sonic Youth in, sound, in standard tuning is much more to to, to understand their uh, voicing because it's nice to to to, to tune in a, in a alternative uh, tuning and figure out some uh, some positions. It's very cool, but I, I like to do some sometimes things in standard tuning to see how how they why it sounds like this. Um, so first, the song you've got the fourth riff. Here it's a, just a D and a F. So uh, it's a D minor, because F is a minor third of the D. So that's possible to do like this too. So um, I did some videos about that. About, um, about uh, not uh, two or three notes chords sounds better, and uh, it's nice to have um, to have two notes, but very like the the root, it's uh, an octave lower than the, the half a top note. So what I play here because then we've got an A, so it's kind of an A minor. Six or I don't know. Yeah, a strange A, it's A minor six, and then this on the bass uh, behind it plays the uh, E. So I don't know because it's E and A. It could be um, A power chord or or the weird E uh, E uh, or just a E sus four. Yeah, there is some tension in the, in the song. I think it's an E sus4. So, but, but with all these notes, we see that we are in um, in D minor. It could be in D minor Dorian or Aeolian, but um, when we hear the melody and everything after, I think it's just a D minor. Um, and we can see that no... Uh, no notes outside uh, the key, so no nothing fancy here. And the bass line, is D, A, and E. So, so just uh, e uh, easy things, but sounds really nice. <laughs> it's it's amazing with Sonic Youth. How they sound, how they sound with, with at the end is. It's really easy. And then wh what I did, I used my grouper and, and I play a kind of um, vocal melody. Uh, not exactly the same. I did something more um, guitaristic or more bluesy, maybe, uh, because it's really fun. Um, and it sounds almost like the vocals. And it's a D minor scale. Just D minor. Regular D minor scale, start from the D and go and go up in the scale. Mm. 
to, I think I put more notes on than the vocals uh, and with um, just to be more fun on guitar. It's kind of a chorus here. And I play only with one string. Because with one string, the, um, the movements are better. And um, sometimes I prefer to play only with one string than several strings because you've got the same uh, texture of, of a sound with the same string. And, um, yeah, and often I prefer to, to play with uh, bigger strings than the, the small one. So uh, this... Uh, yes. <laughs> um, and then in the song you get a break and you go to, the, to a C, a major C. Uh, so it's, it's the seven in the um, D minor key, uh, and it's classic sonic use here because you get a C and is a major third, and a fifth, a major seven. It's just some, um, if you don't know. I think you know your major scale. Okay, and the thing here is to keep uh, the root, so the C, and then you you can mess up with um, with all the notes in the scale, just keeping uh, this note. So here it's uh, the third, or oh, um, for for beginners, uh, why it's the third? Because one, two, three, and four, five, and here's the fifth. Six, seven, so third, fifth, seven, and fifth. Again. And then you get it's E, D, and B. And here I'll play with two fingers because I'm doing a um, the low note and the uh, octave uh, above, so it's only two E's. Because they are, um, sonicus are um, often um, tuned there like two strings, two strings of the same note, so um, it sounds uh, fatter. Uh, they just don't just play one note; they double or triple uh, the note. And that's how why the sonic, uh, why their riff uh, sounds. Uh, Quite fat, and we it's hard to do uh, with a standard tuning. So there is something something I miss uh, in the standard tuning for to playing sonicus is the is, the, is their fat uh, fat sounds with uh, double triple uh, time of the same um, same note, and there are a lot of uh, open strings. So um, the sound of open strings are more fat than uh, when you fret. Here it's E, D, B, so tension on the B, and solve on the C. And the song can be uh, Dorian, Dorian, because if we are in D Dorian, the C is the union, so the C is the home. So here we kind of uh, hear that the C, C is the home. So this, uh, this song can be both, so uh, I don't know. I say yeah, it's a D minor natural because it's the easiest to think. But, but C sounds like home too. So. And then here we get uh, another riff than the, um, the one before with a third, fifth, and seventh. Here we play the six and the seven. So sometimes when we, we listen to Sonicus and we hear something not that we used to hear in uh, indie uh, pop uh, music, uh, it's often the six of a chord. So. And again the seven. And the, the, the chill side of Sonicus is mostly because they use a seventh, major seventh. G because the G is a fifth of the C, so it's uh, in the chord. Okay, 
and then back to the the bass. Uh, but I think it's it's a guitar in, in the in the song. Play that, but it's like a bass line. And then again uh, the um, the riff. Uh, So um, I hope you uh, you like the tuto and you um, you learn the things. And um, oh, I think I didn't say that the tab is on my Patreon, so you can um, you can subscribe to my Patreon and um, you will um, have access of all my uh, tabs. Uh, and it will help me to to do uh, more videos and better videos. So see you next time.